name is Andrew, and before coming to the YPG, I was somebody who was very antisocial. I didn't like to speak to nobody. I had anger issues. I had problems with my dad. Uh, I was a very abusive brother. I didn't. I was very selfish. I didn't really think about anybody besides myself. Uh, and my life was pretty, pretty stuck. I wasn't really going nowhere. I was just doing the same thing, just going to work. I began, I began stealing stuff. I began going to my own clients that my dad had. And I began to steal from my clients, stealing rims, car parts, radios. I was going to clubs, I was drinking. Inside of me, I had this big empty void, this big empty space that I could never fill with anything, no matter how much I would drink, no matter how much I would go to the clubs, no matter how many times I went out with friends and things like that. I knew when I, the minute that I got back home, I came back to reality, I was never happy. I was never satisfied with anything and not even work or even, you know, having those long, hard days really did anything to me. I would just come back home, sleep, and my day was just, my life was regular. My worst moment of my life was probably the day when I was fixing uh, an equipment. And since we work with sharp blades, I remember that I was barely done, you know, tightening everything up, making sure everything was secured. And the minute that I had turned on the, the equipment, uh, the blade, I don't know how, there's no way of me explaining this. The blade came off, bounced off the concrete and almost stabbed me right in the face. It came maybe inches from being able to cut me straight in my face. And after that, that was, that was it for me. I knew I needed to kind of stop playing around with my life. I started coming to the YPG knowing that once I knew that I needed help and pretty much I wasn't somebody who was consistent or somebody that was coming here on time, but you know, the friends that I started making around here helped me, you know, know that I have a second family here. I started getting closer to them and being with these, this group of people, it really started pushing me to come more. I started getting closer to everybody and then that's when I joined the sports group and because I, I was somebody who did football. I knew that I could have done, I could have played sports here and I would have been all right. And little by little, I just started coming more frequently. I was very, I, you know, I started to have something to look forward to at the end of the week. When I started to know about the fast of Daniel, I knew this time, like I wanted to have my true encounter with God. I didn't want to just, you know, let another fast pass by. Uh, I wanted to actually be full of the Holy Spirit and be able to, you know, have that that relationship with God. So whenever the pastor was speaking about the fast of Daniel, it was something that I took very seriously. I, everything that they told me to do, I put in practice. I started reading books. I started praying more. I started praying at random times of the day. I used, I used to wake up at 3 a.m. in the mornings and begin to pray. I would pray outside. I would pray in my bathroom. I would have my own moments with God. And Every day was something new. I was already, you know, letting go of everything because I had anger issues with my dad, but I was able to go up to him and apologize to him because that was the last thing that I needed was to let go of my hatred towards him. And I did. And after I let go of that, I kind of was just waiting like, oh, after I apologized, I thought I was going to receive. But no, I kept praying. I kept getting mad and mad. And it got to the point where I ran to the bathroom on the 90th day and I started praying. I put my head on the ground and started, you know, seeking and seeking and seeking. And then at that moment, that's when I knew that I, I had received the Holy Spirit and I was full of joy. It was something I can't really explain well, but I just knew at that moment that, it, you know, God came to me, I received the Holy Spirit. I was full of his fire, full of his presence. And at that point I knew things were gonna be different. Andrew today is somebody who is very happy. You know, I have nothing missing in my life, you know, with the Holy Spirit over the times, I, I became a wiser person, became a better brother, became a better son. You know, I became a better business owner. You know, I made wiser decisions. You know, I'm, I'm here, I, I love to help others. I love to, you know, do things for God. I come to church and I'm excited. I don't feel how I used to feel, you know, like forced to come. And, you know, it's a different experience. I don't, I no longer go to clubs. I no longer need to go drink, to hang out with, people of the world, friends of the world. I come here, I know that I have my family here. So the person who's watching me and going through the same situation that I went through, I would say for you to come, give it a chance, give your life into the hands of God because he's gonna give you a direction. He's gonna open up your vision. He's gonna give you his presence and he's gonna you know, give you 
what you never had in your life, which is, you know, something way different, something completely honest, something that's not fake. It's not, it's not something you can make up. It's, it's true.